Hello, 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 everyone, everyone. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. You all are here. We made it to another week. It is another beautiful day. It is another wonderful Tuesday. You guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, we are almost done. We are almost done. Y'all, we are at the middle of March. Are y'all kidding me? <laughs> Where is this time going? This is so crazy. So crazy. But look, we are here. I'm I'm I will say this. I'm very, very, very excited for spring to happen. I'm over the winter. I'm over the winter of weather. I'm over. I'm just I'm over, y'all. I'm over. So y'all come on in, 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 come on in. We are here and we are about to talk about some stuff that I think has been baffling our ladies and, and our loves here for, for the longest. You know, and that is, <clears throat> what is the difference with all this hair? Okay, what is the deal with all of this hair? What am I getting? I don't know what to get. You know, I have a whole lot of clients. You guys know that I am a salon owner, Beauty by Miss B Salon Studios. Um, and I'm older owner and lead stylist, lead artist here. And when I tell you, some of my uh, clients, they get so confused, so overwhelmed when it comes down to um, different hair. What When they go into beauty supplies or when they go into the, the virgin stores and stuff like that, it's like, okay, Ms. B, what am I doing? I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I'm, what it, Brazilian and Peruvian and Malaysian and Ethiopian and Lower Indian and they got, now they got Korean and Japanese. Listen, what is, what, what am I supposed to get for my hair right now? That's all I need to know. American. Can I get some American? <laughs> Can I get some American hair up through here? All right. So it's, we're going to resolve and kind of, kind of bring, settle the confusion just for a little bit, as much as we can, because we know that it can definitely be overwhelming, okay? So first off, welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys already know what to do. When you, when you chime into the Midday Makeovers with Beauty by Miss B, you know we love, we love, we love company, okay? So do us the favor if you would, hit that share button. It's in the bottom left corner, I want to say. Hit that share button and bring us some folks so we can make it a, an overall, you know what I'm saying, group setting, a group chat, all right? All right, so first off, um, some of the confusion, like I said, is when it comes down to weaves, is um, the quality and what's good, what's not, um, who's telling the truth about their labeling and who's not, what the heck is a version, what the heck is a, um, you know, is a Remy, what is, what is all of this I don't understand, what is, what is human hair quality, what is master mix, what is, what is, what is all of this, okay, what's, okay, synthetic, and, and then how do I determine what a synthetic is, and all of this stuff is just so much stuff to, to look at and, and to have to focus on. And really all you want to do is get your hair done. That's all you want to do. That's it. I I didn't want to have to go to, you know, a university and get, you know, a master's and a PhD in the chemicals and, and all of this stuff and strand and fiber reading and a, don't nobody want to do all of that. They just want to buy some hair and want to get their hair done, okay? But the problem is when they purchase the wrong kind of hair, when they want something longevity or long term and then purchase a very temporary hair. You see what I'm saying? So now to prevent this, education has to come forth. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge, understanding, and that's what we're here for, okay? That's what we're here for. So first off, we want to start with, I'm going to talk about five different kinds of hair, all right? Five different classifications of hair, all right? Now, um, I'm not, we're not going to focus on the colors and stuff like that. We're just going to talk about the classifications of the hair, like the, the levels of hair, you know, from the most synthetic to the most you know, pure to the raw, okay? The title of this particular live is How Raw Do You Like It? 
Now, I know some of y'all, some of y'all, okay, some of y'all went there. Some of y'all <laughs> just managed. Some of y'all, okay, because I asked how raw do you like it. I'm talking about the hair. I don't know what you talking about. What was you talking about? What's on your mind? What's in, in, your, in the back of your head? I don't know what your, what's on your bird. I don't know. But, you know, I don't know. I can't speak for you. All I know is here at Beauty by Miss B, <laughs> we talking about uh some hair. You know, how raw do you like it? How raw and how virgin and how pure do you prefer your hair? All right? So all of that extra stuff, I'm going to let you deal with all of that. Okay? I'm going to let you handle that. All right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start, like I said, with the most synthetic, and then we're going to work our way up to the purest, okay? So, when we say synthetic, you already know the most synthetic. Now, you can identify a synthetic hair by the synthetic fibers, and you can't get any more synthetic than, like, with a braiding hair. For what the hair that, you know, maybe the Africans use or any braiders, you know, they use, it. this is, this is what you will see a synthetic hair looking like, okay? So, this ha synthetic hairs, it is strictly, it is strictly synthetic fibers. It is no human hair fibers combined, nothing at all. It is, and then when you see it, you it's going to look shiny, super shiny. When you go to, to um, work your fingers through it, it's very, very, um, I almost want to say wiry, where the strands are much, much more coarse than that of a human strand, okay? And we use these, these this, this hair is great for braiding simply because it's um it has a a, a a more firm grip, okay? So say for instance, for my girls who have a little thinner hair, their hair texture, their natural hair texture is a little thin, we would use some braiding hair, some synthetic braiding hair to reinforce their braid. And when, when synthetic hair, braiding hair is combined with their natural hair, then the braid will last much, much longer. So this hair here is synthetic. These synthetic fibers actually help with the, the longevity of a particular braid, okay? Now, there are some other synthetic hairs that are textured, and you will find most, hi, Tashana, you will find most um, synthetic hair uh, on a textured, more textured, um, um, you know, in, in different patterns, waves, curls, stuff like that. You, I think, um, what is a good brand? Milky Way Q. Milky Way Q, they have, it's, that's all synthetic. But you'll find waves, you'll find curls, you'll find, um, you know, patterns and all of that stuff. You'll find all of that, those different textures when you're dealing with a synthetic. You, most times when you're dealing with a synthetic, okay? Now, synthetic hair, you cannot, you cannot put heat to that. If you put heat to synthetic hair, then honey, you got you a melted plastic mess on your hand, okay? It's just... It's going to be stuck to your iron, stuck to your, your your flat iron, stuck to your beveling iron, whatever the case. It's going to be stuck on there. It's going to melt down, especially when you do it, when you set that temperature to any temperature higher than about, I want to say about 250, 200, something like that, okay? Um, the better way to manipulate, if you say, for instance, you have like the braiding hair. Braiding hair comes straight, okay? So with a with a slight it, the synthetic you know look of it with a slight crinkle or whatever the case. But the best way to manipulate and change that shape for synthetic hair, you have to dip it in boiling hot water. You have to like say for instance you want to go from straight to curly. You would ride the hair, and then you would dip it in boiling hot water, and you would then you know kind of dab it dry, whatever the case. And let it let it dry, let it do what it's gonna do, and then you you unravel it, unravel the rod, and then you will have a curl, okay? And in order to get it back to the the the, the texture of the straight, you have to do that again, okay? So that is the way to change or kind of soften up or manipulate a synthetic fiber, okay? Now you that's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. You will not be able to curl a synthetic hair. Okay? Now, moving on to a more of a heat-resistant synthetic. Okay? This would be 
what you would consider a heat resistant synthetic. Okay, it is synthetic. Okay, but it has some slight human hair fibers in it. Okay, it has some slight human hair fibers in it. So what this means is, you will be able to, you know, um, curl, but minimal curls. Don't you, know, you ain't? That's why it comes textured already, because you ain't. You're not gonna get this type of curl. With a, a, a heat resistant or, or, or slight synthetic hair. Because again, it has a synthetic fiber in there. But it, it is, it has, you know, has, it's mixed with a little bit of human. However, hi Miranda, how are you honey? Thank you, thank you so very much. You guys share, share, share. Because we're kind of, we're kind of showing the ladies about how to identify the different categories of weave and hair. You know, that right now we're in a time where, honey... Everybody, who is everybody, all right, gonna have some weave somewhere, a weave, a wig, whatever the case. So we're in the time of weave, and so we some of the some of the ladies that I've run into, and when it comes down to uh, my clients, I've run into the questions where they don't know what they're purchasing. They don't know. They'll go into the store and we're just standing in the middle of the store and be like, okay, because it is fifty billion different choices, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna give me um, I'm just gonna give me a, a skull cap and wear that. That's <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, but now uh, synthetic, a uh, heat resistant hair. It is not human. It's not human at all. Okay, it has a couple of human strands in it. However, it is not classified as one hundred percent human. Okay. Also, too, you guys have to have to have to understand that this industry is a non-regulated industry. So some of the packs of hair that you would buy from a beauty supply um, or a franchise or whatever the case, it that packaging might say human hair. It might say human hair, but it will not be human hair. Trust me, I have dealt with it. I have dealt with, oh my goodness, clients will come in here and they would just know without a shadow of a doubt that they done bought them some human hair, honey, and they about to get their wig laid, slayed, and, and I got to tell them, uh, honey, I mean, it's cute and everything, but this, you know, this is not human hair. They like, what you mean? This, this, this not human hair, honey. It ain't human. As a good indicator, y'all, a great indicator is if that price of that pack was $5.99. <laughs> Listen, if human hair, <laughs> if it's labeled human hair and that price say $4.99, $5.99, $6.99, $7.99, you need to No. I can guarantee you that ain't nobody's human nothing, okay? All right? All right, daughter? Okay, so now, and, that, and they, that, that's why they make it to where, how they make it, because it's it, it has to be, it has to be affordable, you know what I'm saying? Because when you go into the more pure and the and the 100% and the Remy's and stuff like that, baby, you're going you gonna to drop a coin. You're going to drop a dime. Yes, you are, okay? So the, the beauty supply chains have to be, um, and they have to be competitive. They have to be able to supply the consumer with something um, that is kind of, sort of, in the same look and feel and all of that stuff, but with a more economical price on it. Because they got to stay, they got to stay in the running. You know, because right now people are, when you go to purchase virgin hair, then it, you're making an investment. Like some of this hair is like paying rent. You understand? So you're you're making an investment, but but you're making an investment, a one time investment, it's like once a year, once a, every two years. But when you go and you can see at a beauty supply chain that they have a texture or they have the look of the virgin hair or the look of the Remy hair, and and um, it's less costly. You know what I'm saying? It's less expensive than a bundle or a virgin or, or a Remy, then of course we're going to go that route, especially when we're, if we're on a budget. You know what I'm saying? We got to get our hair done. If we're on a budget and stuff like that. We're going to do what we have to do. All right? But that's a, that's a, that's a good way to know what you have and whether, whether you're dealing with a heat resistant or a, um, what do you call it? A, um, a non-human, a synthetic hair. Okay? So, 
like I said, it, nine times out of ten, it's going to come as, as in a texture already because it cannot be curled and all of that stuff. So they trying to help you out, sis. They trying to help you out. They trying to give you that little old curl, that little old deep wave, okay? Because they know you can't get this. Like, sis, don't put that, don't you put that heat up to this thing. Don't you do it because I promise you, you about to be a Michael Jackson Pepsi commercial, okay? All right. We don't want that for your life. We don't want that for your life. <laughs> okay, so the one up above that would be, then you go to the um, higher than that, you have the human hair. 100% human hair, okay? 100% human hair. Oh, 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 before I go into that, you you do have, in some of these, see, these synthetic hairs, at the beauty supply, like I said, this industry is non-regulated. So you can I know we want to turn up sometimes. So because that pack said 100 percent human and them folks lie. Because you can't you can't get your swoop like you want your swoop. And your swoop ain't, you know, like 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 said the entertainer say, you know, like Luther Curl, it ain't quite curling all the way over. We when you when your swoop don't quite curl, you know, all the way over like you want it to curl all the way over. Then you want to turn out on the people, on the manufacturers and the store owners and stuff like that. But you can't because this is not regulated. Then people can put on there anything they want to put on there. They can put on there that th that's a pack of apples and oranges and it'd be a, a bundle of hair. But because this is not regulated, this, this industry is unfortunate. It is really unfortunate, but it's not regulated. So they can do and say whatever they want to do and say on their packs and... Anything to sell the hair, okay? So you really have to be mindful. You really have to be careful. And that's what we're educating you to do um, to be able to identify what's good and what's not, okay? Um, but said all that to say, because it's non-regulated, the packages do say certain keywords. These are the keywords that I want you to pay attention to for those non-bundle, non-version, non-Remy hair buyers, Okay? If you want to just do something real quick, if you like me and, you know, you, you're natural on, you know, 90, 95% of the time, but one day you want to just, you know, you want to whip your hair back and forth, then you want to go and get this pack hair or whatever, something temporary, and I get it. You just want to get something for the evening or get something for the week or whatever because you're going to take it out eventually, right? Um, You want to pay attention to words like human hair quality, um, human hair master mix or um, premium mix or um, human hair feel, you know, those are trick words. Those are trick words that, that, that is going to say human hair. And that's, that's, and, and, and trust me, that human hair going to be like this big on the pack. And then master mix going to be like this small. All right. Premium mix going to be like this small. So it's like. You have to really, 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 really pay attention to what it is that you're getting. A good, another good indicator is the synthetic hairs, the ones that's less, less quality, is going to be on the floor. It's going to be on the floor. You'll be able to just go up to it and just pick it up and grab it. The higher quality hair going to be behind uh, Jet Lee back here. Okay, It's going to be behind the counter. Oh, yeah. They say, look here. Now, you can walk away with that $4.99 pack. You ain't finna walk away with this $59.99 pack. Uh -uh. We ain't gonna let that happen. So, <laughs> so, yes, another good indicator is how accessible it is to your hands in the store, okay? So, you want to pay attention to those keywords, those master mix, premium mix, um, human hair quality, um, and, and, um, Human hair feel. Those are keywords you want to pay attention to. Be, like I said, this is a non-regulated. I, ha I can I have to drill that in the heads. Okay, non-regulated industry. So you can unfortunately be a little duped when when purchasing from the beauty supply. I say this. This is just me. I don't recommend any thing from the beauty supply store. I don't send my ladies to the beauty supply simply because of that. Because they go in and they're green. They go in and they're naive to the fact and they're ignorant to the fact that there are tricks 
in that store. That owner of that store, their main objective is to sell units. That is it. That is all. They are out there to sell their product that they have on that shelf. Okay? But... If you if we're undereducated, then we can we can get swindled a good bit of the time. And then on top of that, I feel like the items that you can purchase, and this is the saying that I say here all the time, if you can buy it on your own, then I don't need it. Okay? If you can buy it, I don't need it. Simply because there needs to be, I think, in my opinion, in this industry, I've been in this industry 21 years this year. There needs to be some level of exclusivity. Some things that my license can purchase that you can't on your own. So if you were to get it, then you get it from a, a licensed professional. And that's what I feel. Same thing with regard to some hair, okay? Um, there are things, there are, there are different qualities of hair and different brands and vendors that we are accessible to that you all may or may not be able to, to get. Okay, so if you are are skeptical about what brand to buy or what um, quality of hair and stuff like that, then go to your stylist, your licensed professional, and I guarantee you they can lead you to someone who can give you the highest quality of hair and better for your money. Okay, where you it will last you years and not just weeks or months. Okay, all right, so. Now, moving on to 100% human hair. 100% human hair is like this here, okay? 100% human hair, it, it, it can curl and all of that good stuff. However, it's been chemically, like with this hair right here. This hair, in order to get this blend here, this is like a 27-1 mix, okay? 27 being the blonde, 1 being the black, Okay? Level 1, level 27. Now, in order for the manufacturers to even get this combination and this blend of color, it had to have been stripped, bleached, um, steam treated, chemically processed, and all of that stuff. Okay? Still human. You can still get a curl out of it. However, it's, it's, it's not qualified and classified as... Um, Remy, it cannot be classified as Remy or Virgin Pure at all because it has been stripped of all, it's been stripped of the cuticles, it, it's been stripped of all of it, okay? So, and when, when a hair is being stripped, it has been stripped of cuticles, that means it cannot be colored. It cannot be, um, um, you know, dyed and none of that, none of that stuff. What you have here is all you're going to get as far as the color goes. Okay, you can curl, like I said. You can curl. It is still human human hair. You can curl. This once was a virgin pure. This once was a Remy hair. Okay, but then they, when it was chemically processed and stripped of this cuticles and stuff like that, then it became just one. Just it's been dwindled down and diminished to one hundred percent human hair. That's it. That's all. Okay, so this hair here, you can get some wear out of it if you care for this hair. Um, I get a lot of my girls, they bring me pack hair, 100% human hair. It feels human. It is human in the whole nine yards. However, um, I have them to purchase hair like this. Say, say for instance, if they're wanting to get a bob. Okay, if they want to bob and they're, they know they want to cut the hair or whatever, this is reasonably priced. If you cut the hair, then you don't have to worry about, you know, your money on the floor because with virgin hair and with uh with Remy hair, you are going to pay based on the the, the inches of the hair, based on the the um the ethnicity of the hair, you're gonna pay. Okay? The cost goes up based on how long the hair is. So why would you purchase a twenty inch hair where you're gonna get you you wanna wear a ten inch bob? Because you're gonna you're cutting it off, you know? So that's a waste of money. So with this hair here, my girls, I tell them Purchase the pack 100% human hair and that way I can do my chopping. I can do my cutting I can do my my sculpting. I can do my razoring and still give them that 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 uh, natural look that natural finish That um, you know that body that movement because it's still human hair But it'll give you a certain result and you don't have to worry about having to waste your money because it is cost-effective It is cost-effective. Okay, you're just limited 
with your usage here. You know, you can still you can still get your shampoos, you can still, you know, wear it and stuff like that and get your maintenance, your your sewing maintenance and stuff like that, but it is limited because it will eventually over time it will start to tangle, it will start to mat. Um, it will, it, of course, it was going to shed. It's definitely going to shed, okay? Um, over time, so you want to, you know, make sure that this, this is only being worn temporarily. That is it, that is all, okay? You get your use out of it, you get your bob wear out of it, you might, you know, maybe a month, a month, mm, month and a half. I tell any, I tell my girls, period, whether you're wearing Virgin, uh, Remy or not, I tell them, do not go past eight weeks with a sew-in. Don't ever go past eight weeks, eight weeks, eight weeks with a sew-in simply because daily our hair sheds. Okay, so we already we already know underneath that sew-in is a braided foundation. So if you have your hair braided underneath and your hair sheds every day, it doesn't matter whether your hair is braided, it's not going to suspend or pause the shedding. It's going to still shed every single day. However, that shedded hair, instead of being um, combed out of your hair, because it's braided, it's sitting in your hair. And do you know that that is how, that is how uh, people's hair lock up? That is how their hair tangles up and mats up. So that's what we try to prevent. So after eight weeks, you should no longer want to have that hey, those those braids and that sewing in your hair. You want to go ahead and comb that shedded hair out. Can you imagine up to a hundred strands of hair being uh, shedded a day for eight weeks? A hundred strands of hair shedded daily and over a course of eight weeks. And you ain't combed that out once. Baby, you are trying to become a member of the Marley family. Okay? Because you're going to have a good old nest. Bird's nest sitting on top of your head. If you go any longer than that. I promise you. I promise you. Okay? So, um, after eight weeks, I always tell my girls, take it out. You know, comb your hair out th thoroughly. When I take their hair out, I, I have a brush. And I am brushing from the scalp on out to the end. I'm talking about I'm pulling every strand of shedded hair and we're doing our shampoos. We're doing a stimulating scalp shampoo. We're doing a hydrating shampoo. We're doing a, a, a steam treatment. We're doing an end trim. We're doing it all because after eight weeks, your hair needs some TLC. It needs some TLC, okay? Now, that is it for the human hair. Now we're going to move to the Remy hair, all right? This is where a lot of the confusion comes in, okay? Because people think, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the word Remy. You know, people don't know what it is that they, that you know, they, they hear Remy and think, you know, special. I got me some Remy hair. <laughs> but, <laughs> but really, Remy really, Remy really only means that it did not come from one donor. Okay, Remy means that you have multiple donors in that bundle, in that in that pack of hair, in that bone bundle. Okay, this is Remy hair, Remy human hair. This is a Remy. Looks good, feels good. It's very very soft. Okay, very 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 soft. Okay, this, but this still cannot be classified as a version pure. It's Remy human hair. It's Remy 100% human hair. However, it still can't be classified as virgin pure. Why? Because Remy hair has been processed. It has been chemically treated. It has been. Um, now, some, now, the cuticles may still be intact, meaning, um, and if the cuticles are intact, that means that you can, you can uh, color it. You can dye it. You can, you know what I'm saying. You can manipulate it the whole nine yards. However, it's been it's been chemically and chemically processed and steam treated, okay? Because there there's been multiple donors, multiple people's heads and hair that's been sacrificed is <laughs> in this Remy bundle. So that's why it's considered Remy. Remy simply means multiple donors, multiple donors. So when you see Remy, you see that, then know that that's what that is and that's why it's called that, okay? You still have some of the same attributes of a virgin pure, some of them the same, okay? You can color it, maybe not as, it, it may not get as high of a lift 
as a raw version, but you can still color it and stuff like that. All right. And also too, because it's it's a, it's a Remy and you have multiple donors, you run the risk of it. It you know some of the strands. If you open up this strand, I mean this this uh, track here, you'll see some of you, you you'll see you'll it'll start off thick here. And you see up in here, within here, you see some shorter strands. You see some strands stopping here. You see a strand stopping here. You know what I'm saying? You see different lengths throughout the bundle. Okay? That's the risk that you run when you're dealing with Remy hair. Okay? Because it's not all the same length from width to end. Another indicator. I'm gonna bunch it up here. This I know this is just a little small, a little small uh, portion of it. However, if it's not the same from top to bottom, it got really, really thin, and you it's, it's see through. It's so transparent, right there. Okay, version pure hair is the same from the weft down to the end. It's the same, and I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see the difference. Okay, again. Uh, for Remy hair, the cuticles are still intact. So you'll still be able to curl. You'll still be able to, you know, style and do everything that you need to do. But it has been treated. Look at the sheen on the hair. It has been treated. Raw version hair, honey, you're going to see it. That is straight, like, cut, sliced off somebody's head and, and sewn on the web and put, you know, a for sale sign on it. Cause it's it looks dry <laughs> for real, <laughs> but when you when you use this here, you know, um, like I say, you'll still get the the same some of the same uses out of it. You'll have longevity with it. You'll have a good, you know, if you keep this up and you take care of it. Cause usually this is gonna come with some um, care instructions. You keep this up and you care for it, then you'll be able to keep it for about a year, for about a year. Okay, it's 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 higher. Of course, it's more expensive than human hair and um and beauty supply hair, pack hair. But you know, it's not it's not classified as 100% virgin and pure. Okay, now we're gonna get to the pure. Okay, this is this is the raw. Okay, <laughs> this is the raw right here. This is this is 100% raw Indian. Okay, look at that. That hair looks so dusty and ashy. Is <laughs> this is 100% raw Indian? Look at that bundle, y'all. Let me tell you something. This here, and I had to wrap this up. I had to wrap it up because this this thing stretched from, honey, my chair, which is on the other side of the salon, to almost my front door, the front door of the salon. Okay, look at this. This literally looks like somebody's bed head, okay? When they get out the bed. This is how they hair look. <laughs> this is how they hair look. This is 100% pure virgin hair. That's what this is right here, okay? Look at this. Like I said, virgin hair, it is thick from the well on down. Look at that. It is thick. That is virgin hair. That is raw, cut virgin hair, okay? This hair lasts much longer, much, much longer than the Remy hair. It lasts much longer than any other processed hair ever, okay? This hair has not been permed. It has not been bleached. This is literally from someone's head. This is, this is Indian hair, raw, pure Indian hair. Okay, it hasn't been bleached, it hasn't been dyed, colored, blow dry, steam, nothing. Okay, it has not been exposed to a lot of heat or anything. And all of these cuticles are intact. All of these cuticles are intact. So if I was to take this hair and if I was to lighten it and try to get on, I would say on the first try, the first try, maybe two, maybe two tries, I might be able to, to execute a platinum on this hair because it is, it has never been processed at all this is literally off of someone's hair and sewn onto a weft okay literally now um and this is double stranded too this is double stranded 
double song this track is. And so what that does is, like I said, it gives you that same thickness from the top to the bottom. That same thickness from the top to the bottom. So you don't have to run the risk of, um, you know, running, you know, it, it, you having a cut at the very end of the install. If you ever noticed or something, you ever seen somebody or even you yourself would have to get to the last part of the install and you have to cut some hair off and, and, and give yourself a trim. You got to give the weave a trim because it's just, it's transparent. It's see-through, you know, it shouldn't be like that. It should not be like that. You know, now if you want it to be like that, if you, you know, if you purchasing the little, you know, the little pack hairs and all that stuff, then that's fine. Then you do what you got to do, especially if you're going to cut it and cut it into a bob, then that's fine. But when you're investing this right here, like this bundle here, this bundle here will be about $75 a bundle. Okay. And that's the, that's my price. <laughs> That's my price. That's not your price. That's my price. So if you're getting some raw, raw Indian hair or some raw, the, and, and Indian hair, in my opinion, Indian hair is the, the highest quality hair. It is. It really is. So, um, yeah. And like I said, if you wanted to invest in some hair like this, then you would literally be making it an investment for the long haul. You would be able to use this hair for years for years all you have to do is just shampoo it like your like regular hair with quality shampoo i never i never i don't there a lot of people ask me too what what shampoo do you recommend for weaves i don't recommend shampoo for weaves okay um and again if you don't purchase it if, if you can purchase it from the beauty supply then i don't I, I don't need it i don't want i don't ever recommend my clients to purchase anything from a beauty supply, so I don't know what's a good shampoo for your weave. Now, if you're buying hair like this, then the shampoo, the high quality shampoo that you use yourself, then that is perfect for this hair because this is raw hair, okay? So the same way that you would want to shampoo and condition and, you know what I'm saying, uh, moisturize and stuff like that, your natural hair, then you definitely want to do that with your weave. If it's a high quality weave. If it's a high quality weave, all right. This here, you can change. That I can change this hair to whatever color I want to, and it will actually take the colors that I want it to take. Simply because it is, it's, it's unprocessed. This is the rawest that you can get it. This is the rawest that you can get it. Now I have some vendors that um do supply the hair. I definitely do, um, and that is who I, I go with. Uh, you know, I have one vendor who literally, where I got this actual bundle from, he only supplies Indian hair. That is it. He don't supply any other Malaysian, Brazilian, you know, um, none of that stuff. Peruvian, he don't supply any of those other nationalities or ethnicities. He only supplies Indian hair because that is one of the highest grade hair. That is one of the highest grade. Okay, our makeup artist, she's she's starting a um, wig series, and um, you can you can find her on YouTube at Jazz Kelly, um, and she is actually about to do a wig unit with um, I think she said it's Korean or Japanese hair, which is totally different from what I've ever I have never ever ever seen any Asian ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? And, and when it comes down to the weaves. Never ever. So I'm excited to see what she, you know, what she comes up with in her review on that particular hair. But as a stylist, I am very, very familiar with all of them. Especially Brazilian. I think Brazilian is at the lowest, the bottom of the totem pole when it comes down to weave. But um, Indian, to me, in my opinion, is the highest quality. It is the highest quality. Okay? So, now, I'm not sure if you... Are um, if you color your own hair or if you get your hair colored from a licensed professional, which I do recommend that you get it done at a salon, a licensed professional, because again, we are not trying to have any, um, you know, any um, combustions going on and any frying hair. I've literally seen somebody color hair and it starts to smoke. <laughs> that is a that's another indicator that you are not dealing with raw hair <laughs> when you go to color some hair and it begins to smoke 
then sugar, sweetheart, honey bunch, you know, sugar plum. That is not anybody's version hair, okay, when it's smoking like that, okay? Um, and I've seen people buy hair from the bundle store, from version bundle stores that claim to have version hair, and it's not version hair, okay? Now, moving on to the next, and when you go to purchase hair, even if you're purchasing it, purchasing it from a beauty supply chain, a good indicator on how, on whether it's some good, good, good hair and whether it's going to shed, okay? I'm going to show you how to test for shedding, all right? Um, in the store, in the beauty supply stores, the hair is usually pre-packaged, -pre right? So, it's kind of difficult to test for their strands and test to see if it'll, it'll um, shed on you without you know somebody watching you and seeing if you're gonna steal it and all this stuff you know how they you know how they do i don't have to get you know colorful with you but you know how they do some of the greater quality hair that the beauty supplies would would, would sell it's on nine times out of ten is going to be on a mannequin head already they're going to have a display you know of a of a mannequin with that particular brand of hair whatever the case so take the hair and what you do is you do this do the grip test do the grip test take it and take it at the well and pull it. Pull it, okay? There's nothing in my hair right here. So take it, pull it. When you're dealing with human hair, now synthetic hair is coming out. You better understand, you might have a whole grip of, whole fist of uh, strands on, <laughs> on the synthetic hair. But human hair, you want to take it at the at the well and you want to grip it and you want to pull. Pull, okay? Or put your fingers through it like this and pull. All right? If it's going to shed, I guarantee you it's going to be... I haven't had any in my hair. This is the human hair. This is the 100% human pack hair. This is the um, the blend. This is one that, that can be curled and stuff like that, but it's not considered a Remy or a version, okay? So to test for it, you want to do the grip, run your fingers through it, pull it down, okay? Now, I'm going to do that with the synthetic. Let's see what we get, child. Let me see. Now, it's already textured, so this thing here. And the thing is about the synthetic, honey, you probably got about a good strong week and a half with some synthetic hair before you have got to take it out because that stuff going to be like, <laughs> especially at the back of your neck, it's going to look like this here, okay? You don't want that. Ain't nothing cute about that right there. Okay, so I'm going to take my hands and pull and pull, and yep, look at all that. So that's the synthetic, okay? That is the synthetic. That is what you do. You take and you pull, you know, you ain't trying to snatch a knot out of it, you know what I mean? But what you're doing is you're paying attention to the shedding. Because over time, if you buy that hair, you put that hair in your head, that is going to be you, okay? That's gonna be you. With the wind, you know, with the everyday hustle and bustle, with the showers, with the laying on the pillows, with the the collars on your shirts and your coats. Oh, yeah. All of it. All of it. With the hoods and all of that stuff. Sweetheart, trust me. That is going to be you. We don't want that to be you, sis. We don't want that to be you. Okay? So, I'm going to test the, the Remy hair. This hair is really, really soft. Let me see what. This is a Peruvian straight. Peruvian straight, okay? Now this one here, I'm going to do it again. Pull. I have one strand. I have one strand. Let me do it again because that might have been something just loose. Okay, nothing. One more. Three times a charm. Nothing. Okay, so this has passed the shed test, okay? Now we're going to go with this rod. Let's see what this rod do. Now, if I can get my finger through it, it's already so... Lord Jesus. <laughs> Honey, listen. This hair here. This hair. I can't even... Y'all, it's so thick. The bundle's so thick. Okay, so I go this way. All right. Now I got a couple. That's that's because I'm getting my fingers caught up in the thing. For real. Okay. All right, 
There we go. Okay, we get it. Oh, no, we not. Goodness gracious. Y'all, this hair's so thick. That's now that's a benefit right there. You're gonna get all of this. Look at look at this hair. Sis, get you some raw version. Look at that. That is a fat girl. That's fat. That's one bundle. That is one bundle. So if you purchase and invest in some quality hair, quality hair, not only is it an investment and you will it will last you for a minute. But you have enough to, you could just get two of these bundles and you'll be good. You will be good. If you have a small to medium sized head, not a melon like mine, you will be good with two bundles. Look, my whole hand is gripping. I'm making a fist. Yeah, that's a lot of hair. That is a lot of hair. Okay? So that is it, you guys. So just to do a recap, synthetic, synthetic hair cannot be... It has its synthetic fibers. It cannot be curled. It cannot be manipulated unless you are um, dipping it, dipping it in boiling hot water. Um, it's good to be, especially braiding hair, is good for um, braid reinforcements. It's it's a stronger fiber. It's no hair, no human hair combined, no human hair fibers combined in it at all. Um, so it it gives you that in, that that reinforcement, especially for the braids. Okay, that's nine times out of ten. That's what uh, the African braid shops are going to be using or your local braider um that's what they're going to be using okay then we go into the synthetic textured hair that hair is giving you the texture already to where you don't have to manipulate it which is a good thing because you can't curl that okay you cannot curl it okay but be careful, be careful, be careful because the packaging, this is not a regulated uh, uh, field. So you want to be careful. It, it may say human, but pe be careful of the key words. Master mix, premium mix, quality mix, all of this stuff. Okay, human hair feel, human hair like. Be careful of those words. Those are indicators that you are dealing with a more a majority synthetic and minimal uh, human hair. Okay, all right. So then we go to the human hair, pack hair. It has, it has been chemical, chemically processed. It has been steam treated. It has been colored. As you can see here, demonstrated, this is a color blend. They, it has been, um, the, the cuticles have been stripped completely away so that you cannot color. You cannot color. You cannot alter this color that is here right now. If you were to put lightener or any kind of uh, uh, color on this with a, uh, with a developer, you, when, once you rinse it out, you will end up with this. You're rinsing it straight on down the drain, okay? So, so don't do that. Know what you're purchasing, all right? Then we go to the Remy hair. Remy meaning it has multiple donors. Remy means multiple donors, okay? That's what that means. So it can no longer be classified as a version pure. Version pure comes directly from one person, just one person, okay? And so that's why you have the same uh, thickness in the weft from the, the weft to the in the strand from the weft to the end because it's coming from one person there's consistency all the way through okay so with that that is it that is our lesson today on the different uh grades and classifications of weave and I hope it helped you all. I really, really do because I know, like I said, some of my my um, clients they really they they are overwhelmed. They are very confused as to what to purchase and what is best for them. And you know, so what I have to do is, as a stylist, I have to I have to learn their lifestyle. I have to learn their work and what they do, their schedules. You know, are they moms? Are they ripping and running all the time? You know, do they sweat a lot? Are they athletic? Um, all of that good stuff. I have to ask those questions. I have to do those surveys and do that consultation because um, if not, then I will have someone athletic who is always sweating, you know what I'm saying? And then they, they if I miss misguide them and mislead them and have them to go purchase a synthetic or a human hair, a regular 100% human hair, and it mats up on them at the, the little sign of sweat and perspiration, then they will, they will have to get their hair done every week. And we don't want to do that. We want to give you guys the best information so that you can get the, 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 the best quality hair services 
and and make it cost effective for you and to do it to where you can come at the frequency of your liking as opposed to being made to come because you got wrong information. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we're here. We are here to inform. That's why we got our licenses because our licenses puts us in a place of, of, of knowledge and understanding. That's why we do continued education because we have to continue to stay on top of our grind so that we can inform you correctly. Okay? All right. So again, thank you guys for even just tuning in and getting this um, this information, getting this understanding. If you have someone who you know you know that has a struggle with learning and knowing what to purchase or whatever the case, then feel free to share this video with them directly in their in their messenger on their page on their timeline. That is perfectly fine with me. We do thank you for for even considering and and even um, being here to tune in with us or whatever the case. Okay. If you are in or around the Atlanta metro area, feel free to stop by right here beauty by miss b salon studios 4651 flat shows roll that is suite 6b as in b union city georgia 30291 we can be reached at area code 708-762-6447 that's 708-762-6447 or through our styling our, our style seat our, our schedule um, you know, site, you can go through there and the, the link and everything i'll have to reach us right here in the in the um captions in the in the bio and all of that good stuff so you can go ahead and, and and follow us there you can follow us on instagram you can follow us on twitter you can follow us on facebook you can also follow us on youtube we are on there right now to where you can access have gain access to all of our live videos all of our previously live uh recorded videos and be you can get there so that you can be among the first to tune in to our very, 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 very new and original um, salon talk show. Okay, it is it is uh, called Let's Be Real, and what it is, it features real women with real skills having real talk. We're gonna have guests here. Well, we're gonna do interviews with them. We're gonna have an artist here. We're gonna have uh, different people, different talents to come and showcase for us, and it's gonna be a good girl time. Okay, um, we're gonna talk about current events. We're gonna talk about real life matters, relationships. Um, you know, children, parenting. Um, woes in life, you know what I'm saying, struggles as a woman, and all of that good stuff. Just come and just have a good time. But in the meantime, we're gonna be show, we're gonna be in the salon. We're gonna be working. We're gonna be laying and slaying. We're gonna be cutting hair. We're gonna be um, you know, beating faces. We're gonna be doing nails and all of that good old stuff. So, but in the meantime, we're gonna be having good uh, conversation, okay? And bringing you some different guests that are gonna feed into you, gonna give you some good motivation, some encouragement, and all that good stuff. So we're excited about that. We're excited to be able to bring that to you. Um, and then that's that's it. We actually, you know, just keep st stay on the lookout for that. Stay on the lookout for some artists and some music um, from, uh, from the label that we're associated with, One Vision Entertainment. You know, be on the lookout for that. Be on the, just be on the lookout. We got a lot of stuff bringing, we're bringing to you guys. A lot of good stuff, good, wonderful stuff, okay? So again, with all of that being said, we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to us yet another week, or yet another the Tuesday right here at Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss B. And until next time, we will see you. We love you. Mwah.